Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with ESNE, and in this video segment, we will cover Factory Talk View Studio Machine Edition, new project creation and navigation. There are two potential methods that you can create a new application. The first method is to open FT View Studio and then select Machine Edition, and then select the hardware. The second method is to open Studio 5000 and select FT View and then select the hardware. If you have FT View Studio Enterprise, it will show both Site Edition and Machine Edition. If you have FT View Studio for Machine Edition only, then it will open directly to ME without needing to select it. Once you select ME, then you give it the project name and select the proper hardware. Keep in mind the PanelView Plus 7 has two versions, so it is important to select the proper one. If you do pick the wrong one, you can change it later, but it may cause issues if your project exceeds the standard version limitations. If you have Studio 5000 installed, you can launch it and then select Factory Talk View, then browse to the proper hardware plus give the project a name. This method automatically puts two separate folders for the standard versus performance screens to help avoid confusion. For Factory Talk View Studio, you do not need to select a revision when creating the project because only one revision is allowed on a PC. However, you can develop an application with a newer revision and then create an older runtime to match the firmware revision. That part is very different from the PLC and Studio 5000 where you need to match software and firmware revisions. Once you create a project, it will open up a blank screen with the Project Explorer, which contains all the project content. The Explorer has a few key areas that we will focus on. The first area is the System folder that contains all the external setup and configuration. For example, it has Security, Project Settings, which is where you can change the hardware, and Global Connections, which is where you can read and write information about the panel view. In the global connections, some common tags that you can be shared between the PLC and the panel view are the IP address, the time, the date, and what screen is currently active. The next area is the HMI tag folder. There are two different ways you can address PLC tags from the HMI. You can create HMI tags, which allows you to import and export tags for bulk editing. HMI tags take up some of the memory, but speed up the process and allow graphics to have easily readable tags. The other tag option is for direct PLC tag referencing. Direct referencing will not show up on your HMI tag folder. Instead, they are on each individual graphic in the display for each object, where you can go to the connections of the object and tie those directly to a PLC tag name. Now the syntax gets a little weird because you have to have brackets around the tag and the PLC shortcut topic. Both options work, but it is just a preference of the person developing the application. The last area we will highlight is the alarms setup folder. The newer PanelView 5000 uses tag base alarming, but in Machine Edition, you need to create the alarms individually. What I would recommend is to create one Boolean and one analog alarm, then export the alarm setup database to be edited inside Excel. Once you create the alarm, it will give you the proper syntax so you can quickly modify it all in Excel and then import the modifications back into the project. For people that want to utilize the tag base alarming, you can access those through the extended tag properties, but it still require you to set up all the tags individually in the alarm setup file inside the ME project. To access any of the extended tag properties, you must be using version 10 or newer of Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.